going on guys? Pete out here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up Record Box DJ with the Pioneer uh, DJM 900 Nexus and um, Pioneer CDJ 2000 Nexuses. I'll be using the CDJs in HID mode in this demonstration. Um, using it in uh, regular DVS mode using the time code all you would need to do is insert a uh, USB stick with the time code but uh, I'll show you how to use the HID mode which gives you all the features on the CDJ and make them act like a CDJ normal uh, record box uh, USB mode or uh, yeah so here we go let me go through uh, what you need for this besides this gear you're gonna need a US USB hub and then you're gonna need three USB cables so you're gonna need one USB cable for each CDJ that'll plug into the back right here, right here, and then a third USB cable to plug from the mixer into your computer. So let me go ahead and um, get those hooked up and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, one, one step I almost forgot to mention is that you'll take the USB leads from the CDJs and plug them into your powered hub. And go ahead and plug the hub into your laptop or computer. Then you're gonna take the lead from the mixer and go ahead and plug that into your laptop as well. Now once that's all set up, go ahead and power on the gear if it's not powered on already. This does work if the gear is powered on previously. Okay, as you can see, the CDJ and the, the mixer powered on. <laughs> The next step is go into record box preferences. DVS showed up. And as you can see, I have the, the mixer selected as the audio interface. All of these, the inputs will be assigned. If not, you can go ahead and assign it in the setting utility. And the DVS works. So the next thing to do would be on the mixer, go ahead and switch this to USB on the channels you'd like to use. And then once the CDJs are ready, go to hit, hit link. Press down on toggle, press it again. Roll it a little bit until you get this menu. Select the deck, deck one. Go ahead and do the same for the other CDJ. Now, as you can see, all of my songs show up. You can go ahead and select the song, and the album art shows up. The full waveform shows up. You can see at full control. Full control. Very responsive. And there you go. All you need is those three USB leads in the hub, and you're ready to play. Uh, record, record boss DJ in performance mode on um, pretty much the industry standard setup. Again, this is PDOT. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. And uh, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave those down below. All right, thank you. Peace.